Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new then welcome. My name is Faith Hill and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I created this purple iridescent smoky eye for you guys which will be perfect for New Year's Eve which is if you're watching this it'll be today. Currently right now it'll be tomorrow but if you're watching this it'll be today. So yeah, this is my New Year's Eve 2017 makeup look for you guys. I did everything in this video from my face to my eyebrows to my eyes everything so yeah um i asked you guys on my instagram stories if you would rather see a purple smoky eye or a green smoky eye and a majority of people said purple so i gotta give y'all what y'all want i really really love the way that it turned it out i don't remember the last time i ever had on purple eyeshadow if i've ever had it on before so yeah i really enjoy i'm enjoying the way my face looks right now and um that's one of my new year's resolutions it's going to be to just step outside my comfort zone play with more color and just not stay so much in my box of like copper gold and browns because i really like the way this came out so that's definitely one of my new year's resolutions leave your new year's resolutions down below let me know what you're looking forward to in the new year let me know what your highlights of 2017 were i would love to chat with y'all in the comments and yeah if you guys want to see how i got this pretty purple smoky eye I don't know why I did it like that, but if you want to see how I got this cute purple smoky eye, then of course, let's just get right into it. So I'm first going to start off by just moisturizing my skin. I am using this moisturizer from Kills Skincare. This is actually a moisturizer that Makeup by Mario supposedly uses as a primer on his clients. So yeah, I'm just putting that on first before I do any primers or anything, and I'm going to let that sink into my skin while I go ahead and prime my eyelids and I'm just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to do so and I'm going to just blend that out with the blending brush and then I'm also going to be setting that with just a little bit of banana powder so I can get a nice smooth matte base for my eyeshadows. So going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette, I took one of the light brown shades out of that palette and I just used it as a crease color. I'll put all the names of the shades I'm using from the palette down below. And then I just took her purple shade in her palette, which is the only purple that's in there. It's right next to the blue shade called Twerk, but I will list the name of it down below. So I'm just doing the same thing to both eyes and then I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend out those harsh edges. Then after that, I'm going to be taking the Athena palette from Shop Hush and I'm going to take one of those... Um, like iridescent purple topper shades. I'll have the names I use listed down below as well and I'm putting that right over the purple and then I'm going to take a red shade and blend that into my outer crease and then you're going to see me in a second take another purple shade and put it in between that red shade and then in between like the iridescent purple shade. So yeah and then of course I'm just using blending brushes to blend out all of these colors. And now I'm just taking some mascara. This is the Maybelline Times Makeup Shayla like collab mascara and I'm just putting some of that on and then I applied lashes off camera. They're just the Salon Perfect 614s. Now I'm applying some primers. I just used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and the Makeup Forever Smoothing Base Primer. And then I'm taking my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, which I love, love, love. It blends like a dream. I am in the shade 420 Toffee. And just wait until you see how like all of the products sit on top of it and just how well it blends into the skin. If you haven't tried it out, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. This is like my favorite foundation as of lately. And now I'm just taking my Ride or Die Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm applying that in all of the places that I want to highlight. You guys know the drill. Underneath the eyes, the nose, forehead, upper lip, and the chin area. And then I'm going to just blend all of that out with my Beauty Blender. So now I'm just taking my Jordana contour stick, I believe it's in the shade dark, and I'm just putting that in all of the areas that I want to contour, of course. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. 
small stipple brush to blend out the contour. If you struggle with cream contouring, I highly suggest going to pick up this brush. It's literally $3 and it normally blends everything out like a dream as long as you don't use anything too thick. But this contour stick and this e.l.f. brush are like a match made in heaven if you struggle with cream contouring at all. Now I'm just taking my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and setting all the places where I put the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And you can find this powder at Ulta. It's like $8 and it's an exact dupe for the Ben Nye Banana Powder. So yeah, I'm just going to set all of those places and then I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit. But I'm going to brush it right off pretty quickly with my just Morphe um, like face brush. Face brush. <laughs> And then I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Finish Powder in the shade NC45. And then after that, I'm going to contour with my NYX Contour Kit. And I'm just basically setting everywhere that I put that cream contour on. So now I'm just finishing off the eyes and I'm taking that same shade that I used in my outer corner on the top and just blending that out underneath my lower lash line with a pencil brush and then I'm also just going to finish that off with some mascara. And then after that I'm just taking my opal highlighter from Becca and I'm just applying that to my nose, my upper lip, and then my inner corners. I haven't really been feeling highlighting my cheeks lately so I'm just going to highlight those areas. And then I'm going to take some blush. This is MAC Blush in Gingerly and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks and then blend it out with a stippling brush from Morphe. And then I believe next we're going to move on to the lips. Yep. And I'm just taking this Jordana lip liner in the shade Coco and I'm lining my lips. And then I'm going to be filling that in with the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade London then after that I'm just topping that off with my favorite lip gloss at the moment which is the gloss bomb from Fenty Beauty I love it it looks so just juicy on the lips and it tastes and smells really really good as well so yeah I'm just topping it off with that and then you'll see me finish off the look with the Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray and that will complete this look you guys so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope y'all have a very very happy new year thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye you guys